Will Smith. What is he? Part 1. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Will Smith is a very famous man known round the world, primarily for his film career, but also his music career. And, as you won't have failed to notice, he's courted controversy as a consequence of slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars ceremony. There are some that still believe that it's staged. There are others that don't accept that. There are many who don't understand why Smith acted as he did. And I have explained that in accurate terms in my video, Why He Hit Chris Rock. Chris Rock dealt with the situation admirably, taking it in his stride, and indeed there has been an uptick in, his, in sales for his forthcoming tour, which apparently have increased 88% since he took one to the chops, and with ticket prices increasing also. Silver linings and all that for Mr. Rock. But this isn't about Mr. Rock. This is about Will Smith. There are some that say that he engaged in a display of toxic masculinity. Others that say that he's a simp to his wife. That he's a cuckold. That he is an individual that has behaved in a particular way for too long as a consequence of putting up with his wife's behaviours. There are others that say that this is a decent man who's been ground down by her behaviours, resulting in him responding appropriately. There are others who are saying that he was there defending his woman, as any decent man would do. There are others who think that he's an egomaniac, an egotistical individual who's driven by the nation-state of Will Smith. So what is he? Well, as you know, I classify humans into empaths, normals, narcissistic people, and narcissists for the purpose of helping understand more about their behaviours. Of course, there are other conditions and factors that can be layered on top of those classifications, but when it comes to understanding general behaviours and what's associated with those classifications, we can learn a lot about what people are. You can find in my considerable body of work more information about what it means for an empathic person how they behave, what that means to be an empath. Ditto about normal people and narcissistic people, and of course a massive body of work about the world of the narcissist, since I am one myself, or more accurately, narcissistic psychopath. That allows me, because of my awareness and my understanding of the dynamic and my kind and the interaction with others, to give you this unrivaled insight into what's actually going on. And if you'd like to understand more about the differences, for instance, between empathic people, normal people, and narcissistic people, and the narcissist, you can go to my Knowledge Vault, link in the video description below, and obtain Understanding Emotional Empathy. Because at the heart of all of this is the concept of emotional empathy. My kind, the narcissist, we don't have any. But other people, be they narcissistic, but not narcissists, normal and empathic, those groupings do have emotional empathy, but in differing forms. We need to establish what Will Smith is, based upon the considerable evidence that is available to us. I have spent time working through interviews with Mr. Smith, news broadcasts, video footage, articles, information from newspapers, quotes for himself, extracts from his own biography, in order to paint a picture of what Will Smith is to make a determination for him to fall into one of those four categorizations. I will take you through the material, and in so doing, will provide you with relevant observations so that you can see the appropriate indicators. And this will aid you in your understanding also with regard to what that means so that you can apply this knowledge in your own life, that you can look at the interactions that you have with a person and think, aha, that's an empathic indicator, that's a narcissistic indicator, that indicator could go either way, we can only make a determination about that once we've looked at the huge body of evidence over a sustained period of time. It's important to mention that one can never make a determination of just one incident. Many people say to me, HG, I contacted this man and he ignored me after saying that he was really interested in me. Is he a narcissist? The answer is, I cannot tell you. 
It's an indicator showing perhaps an absence of emotional empathy, but there could be other factors. And what we have to do is look at that person's behavior over a sustained period of time, looking at a range of behaviors, and then we can make an appropriate determination as to what is going on. And then, having established the lens that is applicable to that person, we can then interpret their behaviours through it. So if we establish that someone is an empath, we can then interpret all of their behaviours through the lens of their empathy. If somebody is a narcissist, we can determine their actions and behaviours as a narcissist. I have explained previously that an empath and a narcissist can engage in similar behaviours, but the drivers behind those behaviours are entirely different. And that's why it's very important to have my expertise explain to you what an individual is to aid your understanding. Accordingly, with all of that stated to help you understand the context of this work, let's get into establishing what Will Smith is. The image the world sees of Will Smith is that of a jocular, outgoing Mr. Happy, who enjoys a joke and some fooling around. A man who loves his wife and children. A popular and very successful film star. Yet in the light of the recent slap down of Chris Rock, is there something darker and uglier that lurks beneath the surface? What about his oft-discussed marriage to Jada Pinkett Smith? Is this an unconventional yet working relationship which they both embrace with equal enthusiasm? Or is it an unbalanced and unhealthy arrangement? Willard Carroll Smith II was born September 25th, 1968, and is also known by his stage name, The Fresh Prince. He's an American actor, rapper, and film producer. Therefore, it's important to establish at this early juncture that he's an individual that has talent. It's clear, with the level of success that he's enjoyed, that there is substance behind what he is. Some narcissists have that, others do not. Some non-narcissists have that talent, whereas others may have a modicum of talent but exacerbate it. It's also important to note that often entertainers, actors, rock stars, pop stars, etc., will have strong narcissistic traits because they lend themselves to being in that kind of occupation or profession. Therefore, showmanship, pride, vanity, they are all relevant traits that one would expect to see. The showcasing that occurs, to some extent selfishness, by being career-driven, by being motivated to ensure that their needs are met so that they can produce the films that they do. Noted for his groundbreaking work in music, television and film, Smith has received various accolades, including an Academy Award, a British Academy Film Award, a Golden Globe Award, a Screen Actors Guild Award and four Grammy Awards. Therefore, he's received considerable note for his successes. He has also achieved and held several US and international box office records. As of 2021, his films have grossed over $9.3 billion globally, making him one of Hollywood's most bankable stars. This, again, suggests that he has ability, suggests the presence of charisma. It also means, however, that he's in an environment which would pander to the pursuit of the prime aims. He would be able to assert control over a wide range of people through being a film and music star. That, this would allow the receipt of huge amounts of fuel from all of the adoring fans. It would allow the acquisition of character traits from the people that he is involved with, and of course considerable residual benefits, whether it's a blowjob from a groupie, whether it's access to networks, special favours, and of course vast wealth. That is why the world of entertainment and fame is such a honeypot for our kind. Smith was born on the September the 25th, 1968, in Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania, to Caroline, nay Bright, a, Phil a Philadelphia school board administrator, and Willard Carroll Smith Sr., a U.S. Air Force veteran and refrigeration engineer. He grew up in West Philadelphia's Winfield neighborhood, and he was raised Baptist. He has an older sister named Pamela and two younger siblings, twins Harry and Ellen. Smith attended Our Lady of Lords, a private Catholic elementary school in Philadelphia, followed by Overbrook High School. His parents separated when he was 13, but did not actually divorce until around 2000. 
The point at which separation occurred may have an impact upon him, but in terms of the formation of narcissism, it would have been too late, because the formation of narcissism occurs essentially between the ages of zero and nine. And therefore, that occurring a number of years afterwards, whilst it may have an impact upon him, it would not have been instrumental in the form of narcissism. However, of course, the fact that they separated suggests that there was a difficult relationship there which could support the presence of a lack of a control environment, something that we will be looking at later. Smith began rapping at the age of 12, when his grandmother found his lyric book, which was full of profanity. She wrote, Dear Willard, truly intelligent people do not have to use words like this to express themselves. Please show the world that you're as smart as we think you are. He later became known for avoiding profanity in his music. This little nugget is of note. First of all, it shows that he had talent at an early age, but also it shows the possible presence of an intervener. As you know, or you ought to know from my work in the video What Makes a Narcissist, there has to be a genetic predisposition allied with a lack of control environment, and thus low, a narcissist is created. No genetic predisposition, but lack of control environment, no narcissist, and vice versa. But sometimes a narcissist can have the gene or an individual can have the genetic predisposition and also be exposed to a lack of control environment, but they're shielded from it from time to time, which prevents them becoming a narcissist and takes them in an alternative direction. It's clear that his grandmother was a particular influence upon him and that she might be an intervening factor that perhaps shielded him from the worst of a lack of control environment, and we need to keep that in mind. It also shows that he responded to what she stated as a consequence of him not being, not using profanity in his music. We are now, in part two, going to go through a very detailed interview with Smith, where he talks about his upbringing, his childhood, and his parents, and this gives us a real under-the-bonnet look at what has influenced and affected Will Smith and has become instrumental in creating the person that he is. And this is hugely important with regard to a range of indicators. Join me there for part two.